Hello everyone, this is Yeshua said my name. I wanted to share something with you that the Lord's been impressing upon my heart as a teacher, um, both on YouTube and even in my church. Um, this is a message going out to those of you who are pastors or teachers uh, or however the Lord is using you, maybe on YouTube or through a home Bible study or something. Um, I felt the Lord encouraging me to tell you to let him be the one to add to, to the church uh, or, or to whatever ministry he's called you to. Uh, if you're making YouTube videos or uh, or if you're preaching from a pulpit, whatever you're doing, be sure you're doing it for the Lord's glory. And don't worry if you're not seeing results that you think you should see. Or maybe you're wondering, why isn't the Lord adding more numbers to your church? Or why isn't your ministry growing? Or how come my YouTube channel isn't getting more views? Do you know that's sovereignly in the Lord's control? It is. You can't force something to happen for God's kingdom. God appoints everything in your life by his sovereign choice and his sovereign will. And I wanted to read you a scripture from the book of Acts uh, that might help set your mind at peace. If you realize that he's sovereignly in control over what he's called you to, he's the one who produces the harvest. He's the one who brings the people to hear either your YouTube videos or uh, bring them to your church if you're a pastor. And actually, it's not your church and it's not our YouTube channel. It's God's. But you know what I'm trying to say. Um, Acts chapter 2, verse 47, um, reading from the King James, says, Praising God, this is speaking of the churches in Acts, they were praising God and having favor with all the people. And the Lord added uh, to the church daily as such should be saved, as those who should be saved. What this is saying is that in the book of Acts is that the Lord is the one who added daily the number of those being saved and being drawn to hear those who were preaching the truth. So don't get discouraged if you're a teacher in your church or maybe you're using a YouTube account for God's glory or Facebook or you're a pastoring a church or teaching discipleship. Don't lose heart if you feel uh, that you have a message that God wants to use through your life, that you have a passion to serve him and maybe you're not seeing what you hoped would be the results you want to see. Remember, it's God who brings the harvest. One waters, one plants the seed. Um, and then God brings the harvest. But remember what the book of Acts says here. God is sovereignly in control. He's the one who adds daily to the numbers that join the church that you're pastoring or preaching in, that joins the class that you're teaching in, uh, that ha may happen to come across your YouTube account. Um, I know that there are times when I've made a video and uh, there may not be many views, but then there's a subject that the Lord put on my heart that I've taught on that I didn't think would make much of a difference, and all of a sudden there's there's more views than I thought. Um, obviously, it was something that the Lord was drawing people's hearts to want to see and pay attention to. It's all in His it's all in His timing and in His way. He's the one who sovereignly orchestrates the ministry He's called you to. So don't become discouraged if you're a pastor or a teacher in these last days and you have such a passion to get the Lord's message out to people who need to hear and you feel discouraged. Don't. Realize that the Lord is the one who draws people to hear uh, what you have to put out there, you know, whether you're using social media or if you're teaching in a classroom or running a church. But I felt that uh, he wanted me to bring that to those of you who are uh, pastors and teachers, that he's the one who draws them to hear the message. Uh, remember, when Paul was preaching to Lydia, uh, it said that God opened Lydia's heart to Paul's message. And actually it wasn't Paul preaching, it was the Holy Spirit speaking through Paul. But who opened up Lydia's heart to listen? It was the Holy Spirit. So if God has put a passion on your heart to use YouTube, uh, to use Facebook, or, or to be a teacher in your church, don't lose heart if it doesn't seem like it's producing fruit right away. Uh, remember, if you can draw the people, if you draw the people yourself, then you get the glory. God has to be the one to draw the people, and he will. He is sovereignly in control of who sees and understands what it is he's given you to say. So put your heart at rest. Trust him. He's the one that's sovereignly in control of what he has called you to do. It's not yours. It's his. Have a great day.